let's see how you can actually find the raw data, how you can figure out what the longitude and latitude is for your particular location for the for the position where you are on the world so that you can use the both these two values in order to decide what kind of an optimum angle would be good for your situation. So there are different ways in which you can figure out what your longitude and latitude is. I'm just going for a very straightforward and simple way. I'm going to use Google Maps. I am not affiliated with Google Maps. Um, so I don't know where you are on this beautiful planet, but let's assume you are at a random street. So we go to random street, which apparently is in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So let's assume you are located at random street. You intend to install your solar modules on the location random street in Toronto. And now you want to know what your longitude and latitude is. So it depends if you're on a, an Android device or if you're on a laptop. I'm here on an Android device. And I just press and hold my location. And then some other information shows up and I'm seeing here a couple of numbers. If you're not on an Android device, if you're on a laptop, you probably have to right click and then show options. You'll see. So um, right click or just press and hold and then you see two numbers. I'm looking at the number 43.65 and minus 79.54. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go ahead again. The first value, the 43, is the degrees latitude where you are. So Toronto is in the Northern Hemisphere and you are 43.65 degrees from the equator, north of the equator. So the first value is your latitude. The second value is your longitude, so your position around the world, right? And it is a negative value of minus 79.54 because you are to the left, you are west of the zero line and the zero line it is internationally agreed that the zero uh, line of longitude runs through greenwich united kingdom so you are if you are located at random street toronto you are located minus 79.54 degrees to the left so west of greenwich uk now as you can see that's relatively simple that's a very straightforward way in order to figure out what your position is on our beautiful planet so, but now you understand what longitude is, what latitude is, uh, you understand what happens during the seasons, you know how to figure out what your position is on the planet, and you understand how they indicate the, what the numbers of longitude and latitude actually mean.